just started the Tecumseh Trail. It's uh, Saturday morning and it's a beautiful spring day. It's a great day to be outside. The Tecumseh, the Tecumseh Trail is about a 42 mile hiking trail, continuous trail in South Central Indiana. There are a handful of other ones that are also in the 30, 40, 50 mile uh, neighborhood. But uh, shows off some of the beautiful state forests here and a lot of the terrain and ups and downs that the southern part of the state has to offer. Happy to show you a bit of it. This is the very first road crossing. It's crossing Crooked Creek Road, which is south of Yellowwood Lake. I'm hiking through Lucas Hollow now. It's just been a bunch of quiet, peaceful road walking mostly, or walking through old overgrown roads in the forest. And I uh, haven't passed much that was special except for a little tiny pond. And uh, just been quiet and uh, only the birds for company today. So it's hot and sunny at the Hickory Shades Motel, $49 a night. And uh, as I was walking by in the sun, I just had to stop and treat myself to a little, a little something from the vending machine, nice and cold, cherry coke. Hey, this is day two. Um, I got up this morning and left the campground at Yellowwood State Park or Yellowwood Lake with my dad. Had a good night uh, around the campfire with him last night. And um, I've hiked for about an hour and a half this morning come down off Dubois Ridge and I'm going over a creek or two um, before I go up what looks like Patty's Garden Ridge or Putty's Garden Ridge and then there'll be a parking lot after a while and um, a little bit of a road walk before I head back into the forest again so I'm checking out my map having a little snack and um, kind of excited about uh, some of the water I've crossed because I've crossed two or three streams that uh, look pretty nice, although we've had rain in the last week here in Indiana, so um, it's easy to find a stream in springtime, I guess, but it might not be that easy to find one in, in the summer. This one, this one here might actually be dry then, but it's nice while it lasts. As I was having my snack, a uh, fella came down the trail going the other direction with a a decent sized backpack on so he had been camping and hiking and he was coming the other direction which means good news because he's come the other direction and knocked down all the cobwebs for me all the uh, spiders overnight spin their webs often across the trail so I spent the last hour and a half clearing the way for him and uh, unintentionally he did the same for me so I appreciate that Good to finally cross another uh, multi-day hiker in the woods today. Hey puppy. So I've just gotten this water out of the creek and I'm purifying it with these little Chinese uh, military water purification balls we brought back from China with us. And it says that uh, you put two in to a liter of water, shake it for a minute and then you can drink it after five. So. With all the pollution and nasty water in that country, I imagine that this will uh, cure just about anything you might find 
in uh, an American stream. But we'll see. I may be wrong. I found these plants called May apples. They're big and broad and leafy like this. And when you reach up under the leaves, they often hide a little flower that, when it hasn't opened, it's edible and it tastes like uh, lettuce. It tastes like a vegetable. It's a nice little snack though. This one is called Charlie's Shelter, and I believe it's a good spot for me to have lunch at the picnic table. Looks like uh, you could probably sleep comfortably six people across the floor, five to six, and uh, if it were in a pinch and nasty, <laughs> maybe eight eight in here. So I'm having lunch here at Charlie's Shelter and I bet some of you are wondering what kind of food did I bring on the trail. Um, the dinners I brought aren't that special. Um, ramen noodles. Actually last night though my father camped with me at Yellowwood uh, Lake and there was a Filipino food truck parked outside. I, I'm not joking about I would not joke about food trucks but uh, we had Filipino food last night but it's lunch day, or time, time for lunch here at Charlie's Shelter. And here's what I'm having for lunch. Having crackers and tuna and freeze-dried apples. And I want to show you this map of the trail so far to show you how, how far I've gone. I started at the trailhead down here. And it took me about 11, 12 miles to walk up to Yellowwood Lake yesterday. And that's where we camped. And then today, I'm walking from here up to from Yellowwood Lake up, um, up and down all these little valleys and ridges up to Highway 45. And I have a friend who's going to pick me up there and we'll, uh, we'll go, he might, he might bring his canoe, we may go canoe, we may go hike a little bit, and then he'll drop me off um, at a place where I can walk to the Fox's Den shelter. So that's the synopsis of my uh, two day hike, actually two and a half days because my father will pick me up back on 45. I'll walk from Fox's Den shelter to Highway 45, and that'll be the end of the trip. I'm at Fox Den Shelter for tonight. There's my tent set up, and I've got the place all to myself. It's pretty quiet. I did hear a turkey making noise in the underbrush, and having its, I could hear its call. Um, Fox Den Shelter is pretty famous for mice, so in a little bit I'm going to be hanging a bag with everything I've got that smells like toothpaste or food or trash hanging it, hanging it over that branch over there most likely. But uh, if you want to see what's for dinner, it's not special, but it's uh, freeze-dried apples from Aldi and uh, beef ramen. There's a little bit of beef jerky that I already ate. And if you want to see it, here's the ramen. Yep, good second day. Hey, it's the start of day three, and behind me is the Fox Den Shelter, and with me here is my tent. It's quite wet because it rained a bunch last night, but that was fun and fine because uh, I've never had that tent in the rain, so I was, uh, wanted to see how it would work, and I was pleasantly surprised, but now I need to figure out how to take it down and kind of wrap it up so that I can uh, stick it back in my pack without getting anything else wet. So for day number three, breakfast is packaged oatmeal and instant coffee. I'm down to one liter of water to hike four miles, but I'm pretty sure I'll cross some streams along the way that I can get water from. But uh, I think I need an extra cup of coffee this morning to help me along the way. Um, my uh, food bag got wet last night as it was hanging from the tree, but luckily um, everything was sealed up. So even water inside the food bag didn't mean that my food got wet. I'm walking Carmel Ridge Road here. I've just left Fox's Tent Shelter about half an hour, 45 minutes ago. Got an extra liter of water, which I think will 
last me all the way to the end, about two to three miles, I'll, this road will dump out on Highway 45 and I'll be picked up there. So it's the last couple hours of my hike. Coming close to the end, check out this long green tunnel that I'm hiking down. Headed southbound, so like if you've been dropped off at the northern terminus and you're hiking, hiking south out of Morgan Monroe State Forest. This is how the trail drops into uh, Highway 45. And uh, to be honest, it'd be great if you bring a GPS or some way to follow the progress on your phone because it's not very well marked at all. There's like no blazes whatsoever. You just have to either follow the written instruc instructions on the website, which are only one direction, right? They're, I think, from north to south, not the other way around. Or you should uh, bring your own GPS or put GPS stuff into your cell phone. So this is the end. Here's what 45 looks like. My father's up here in the, uh, in the Civic waiting to pick me up. It's the end of my first hike of the Tecumseh Trail.